Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle, the woman who breaked all British royal standards. Meghan Markle was the focus of public opinion when a normal, born woman had passed away from her husband's main road to become the wife of the Royal Prince of England. More specifically, recently, the couple suddenly announced they would leave the royal family to live a normal life. There is so much controversy surrounding this particular woman. What fair to say, Meghan Markle is typical for a modern independent woman who dares to break down all barriers and prejudices. Especially, especially, she always struggles for world feminism. In today's video, we learn about Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, the woman who breaked all British royal standards. Blogger and Brown Actress Potential Rachel Meghan Markle was born on August 4, 1981 in California, United States. Her parents divorced when she was six years old. Meghan Markle's mother is a Protestant social worker and yoga instructor. Lives at Dew Park, Windsor Hills, California. While her father is a retired lighting director, the daytime Emmy winner who lived in Rosarito, Mexico, Meghan Markle has two half-siblings, Thomas Markle Jr. and Samantha Grant. Growing up in Hollywood, Meghan Markle attended private schools, starting at Hollywood Little Red Schoolhouse. Then there was Immaculate Heart High School, a Catholic private school for girls in Los Angeles. Completing the high school program, Megan entered Northwestern University, where she joined the Kappa Kappa Gamma Society. In addition to researching African American playwrights, Megan Markle is also involved in community service and charity projects. She graduated from Northwestern University in 2003 with a bachelor's degree majoring in theater and international research. She also practiced at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and studied for a semester in Madrid, Spain. From the small roles in the television shows Century City, 2004, The War at Home, 2006, and CSI, NY, 2006, Megan began to the eye, catching when appearing in seven seasons of the TV series Suits. The character she undertakes is Rachel Zane. Rachel Zane has many similarities with Megan, a beautiful girl, full of determination and effort to pursue passion. The personality acting intertwining, the captivating scenes helped Meghan Markle impress the audience. The diversification quickly brought her to the ranks of potential faces in Hollywood. Besides artistic activities, Markle used to work at the U.S. Embassy in Argentina as a stepping stone for his plan to become a politician. Not only that, she also owns a personal blog specializing in food, travel, fashion and beauty content called The Tig. The Tig is named after a wine called Tignanello. Fairy Tales Overcome Prejudice Before dating Prince Harry, Meghan Markle experienced a marriage with Traver Engelson, actor and film producer, in 2004. They married in Oco Rios, Jamaica, on September 10, 2011. However, they divorced in August 2013. In June 2016, she began a relationship with Prince Harry. The man three years younger than her is fifth in the throne list. They met in an appointment of a mutual friend. The press began writing about the relationship between the two in October 2016. On November 8, 2016, the media secretary of the royal family issued an official statement referring to the wave of abuse and harassment towards Meghan Markle. The statement describes sexual, racist and defamatory topics directed at her. In a September 2017 interview by Vanity Fair magazine, Meghan Markle first revealed to the public about her love for Prince Harry. Later that month, 
they appeared together for the first time at the Invictus Games in Toronto. On November 27, 2017, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry revealed that they were secretly engaged. A few weeks later, Kensington Palace announced that the royal wedding would take place on May 19, 2018. The news came shortly after Google announced that Markle had topped the year and rankings of the most sought after actresses. Most. This is the second consecutive time she leads this chart. On May 19, 2018, the couple got married at St. George Chapel at Windsor Castle. Shortly before the wedding, Queen Elizabeth presented Meghan with the title of Duchess of Sussex. The wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has royal features. As if held in a castle, the bride and groom sat on the horse, drawn carriage. The wedding was attended by 600 close relatives and friends of the bride and groom, and more than 2,000 people were invited to the castle grounds to attend. The majority are representatives of many charities and civilians, without the presence of a king or national leader, like the wedding of the groom's parents 37 years ago. Meghan gave birth to his son on May 6, 2019. Two days later, the boy debuted in Windsor Castle. The boy will be the seventh to succeed the British royal throne after his father, Prince Harry. However, the boy was not conferred the title of prince, which would be called Earl de Barton. You are watching a video on the LMT channel. Don't forget, check out our new channel specializing in royal and entertainment videos. More information please see below the comment section. Feminist Activist Meghan Markle regularly speaks out for feminism. Her The Tig page is dedicated to raising awareness about women. Or the article introduces examples of dynamic and inspirational women. Oh, I get it kind of moment that for me it became a Tig moment. In an article she said, I never wanted to be the type of woman who dresses well and enjoys, but always want to be a hard, working woman. At the age of 11, Meghan Markle had forced a TV show producer to change an advertisement by sending a letter to the First Lady at the time, Hillary Clinton, and a number of other cult figures to appeal. Complain. The ad implied that women had to be in the kitchen. Meghan's zeal for women is also shown when she works with the United Nations. Her speech on the International Women's Day 2015 also received a lot of praise from the listeners, including UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Women need a seat at the table, and in some cases, where this isn't available, well then you know what? Then they need to create their own. It isn't enough to simply talk about equality. One must believe in it. In March 2017, Meghan Markle wrote an article in Time magazine about the stigma surrounding women's menstruation in some parts of the world. Analysis of how this has created a barrier for the success of women. We need to overcome rigorous shame when it comes to menstruation. To break the vicious cycle of poverty and achieve economic growth and sustainability in developing nations. Young women need access to education. In April 2017, Meghan appeared in a Vanity Fair magazine article about the One Yellow World Summit when she participated as an advisor alongside other celebrities like actresses. Emma Watson, singer Cher, and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. In addition, Meghan Markle has become a global ambassador of World Vision Canada, which accompanies this organization in campaigns for education, food and health care for children around the world. Leading the British Royal Family The love story of Cinderella and the Prince of Markle with Prince Harry was launched by the media. There are even people who compare Meghan Markle as winning the lottery. When from a woman once married, came from commonplace 
but officially entered the royal gate in the surprise of millions. They even used bad words after she became the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan admits herself struggling to deal with public scrutiny. But in return, she was trusted and loved by her husband. Prince Harry is the one who consoled whenever his wife is offended. Rebecca English, a close correspondent of the royal family working at the Daily Mail, revealed that Meghan once praised Harry as the best husband. Her married life was more wonderful than ever when he was with him. Meghan Markle was the first and only one who turned upside down all the royal dress codes. All taboos such as black nail polish, wearing off-shoulder dresses, shift dresses, forgetting to wear badges, not wearing tights. Meghan committed it in a short time. In Trooping the Color, the parade of the British Army to celebrate the Queen's birthday, Meghan Markle was surprised to appear with a sexy lagging shoulder dress. Rumor has it that Queen Elizabeth was not happy with this. And at the Fashion Awards in December 2018, she went against the Queen when she painted black nails in the same tone with the shoulder dress. On January 8, 2020, the couple Prince Harry gave a shocking announcement. They will leave senior positions in the British royal family. Buckingham Palace said it would officially start a new life when leaving the royal family on March 31, 2020. After March 31, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will no longer be senior members of the royal family and will be financially independent. Their official office at Buckingham Palace will be closed. Buckingham Palace listed the last activities of the royal family Harry and Meghan as members of the royal family. Accordingly, February 28th of the year attended a recording session with John Bon Jovi and the Invictus Games Choir. When they recorded a new version of the song Bon Jovi, Unbroken, the proceeds went to the Invictus Games. March 5th Harry and Meghan joined the Endeavor Fund and launched Silverstone Experience, a new museum honoring the history of British motor racing a day later. On March 7th, they attended the Mountbatten Music Festival. Meghan, Harry, Queen Elizabeth and the royal family attended a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey on March 9th. According to a source from Us Weekly, Meghan was happier and happier after moving to Canada, giving up the title of the British royal family. In addition, Prince Harry always supports and works closely with his wife. The source shared, he is very excited and looking forward to a new chapter in their lives. Previously, many sources said that one of the reasons for the decision to withdraw from the British royal family was that Meghan had always felt lonely since becoming a royal. Although coming to England to fulfill her duties before leaving the royal family, Meghan was still criticized by former royal press spokeswoman Dickie Arbiter for failing to bring her son Archie to see his family. He said, there will always be reasons like, because the boy is too young to fly. But they took him to South Africa during a trip in October 2019. I think they should take their son with them. After completing his last duties, Prince Harry and his wife will return to North America to live. Currently their family is settling in Los Angeles, USA. And after giving up the royal title, Meghan appeared as a Hollywood star. Many people believe that she is planning to attack back on showbiz. Thank you for watching the video on the LMT channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and watch more new videos to support us. Don't stop.